Huh? We've been transported again, but we're not back on the beach. We are somewhere in... Mondstadt. Greetings, Honorable Kaiserin Derva Ertelung. Amy, dear, I've made steak and fisherman's toast. Come on, eat up before they go cold. <sighs> Mother... Oh, look at me being so forgetful. Ahem. <clears throat> Dost thou knowest, Princessin Derva Ertelung, that the hour of luncheon encroaches? Of course, Mother. Ah, behold the view from the window, a delight to the senses. Princessin Kaiserin, would you care to join the Kaiser Derva Utailung for a grand royal picnic? We shall enjoy the scenic view and partake of the delicacies granted to us by the heavens. Yes, I shall gladly join you. Uh, uh... Oh. Uh, does anyone want to say anything about that? Okay, I'll bite. So, Amy, that's Fischl's real name? Seems like it. The other two voices were probably her mom and dad. Why are you all giving me that look? Forgive me if this comes across as rude, but is your surname truly Magistus? Huh, you think I was bluffing? My full title is and always has been Mona Magistus the Astrologist. Oh, my apologies. Don't you think that's a bit long? Well, it's a special case. Only geniuses get titles like this. Well, that makes no sense. What are your thoughts on the scenes we just witnessed? Well, it seems that closing the book is one way of affecting change in this mirage. Well, I think it's sweet that Fischl's parents are willing to play along with her. Well, they probably didn't indulge her forever. Based on the voice, this was surely a memory from her childhood. It's a different story now she's grown up. You know a lot about Fischl, Mona. After all, we've been friends for quite a while. Speaking of, I wonder where Fischl is now. That voice mentioned that she was heading out. We may as well go outside and see if we can find anything. 